Hey guys, and welcome to my new top 10, which is my uh, top 10 requests for DLC characters in Super Smash Bros. It's a huge hot topic on the internet, and I thought I'd kind of get on board. So before we get started, there's probably a few things on your mind. The first one might be, Hayden, haven't you already done a top uh, a countdown list for your character suggestions for, uh, not character suggestions, uh, character requests, rather, for uh, Super Smash Bros.? And yes, I have. I did do a top 5 list earlier on my channel, but... <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Wouldn't be a video with me without a burp. But, um, I don't really like that video that much. I'm really having second thoughts about some of my opinions in that video. And I do have a lot more characters that I do want to see in Super Smash Brothers that I want to talk about with you guys. So I decided to do a top 10 list now. So I took pretty much all of last week to really think hard. Well, I mean, that's not the only thing I was doing last week, but I thought really hard last week about which characters I want to see in Smash. So hopefully this list is, it's, to me, it's what I'm comfortable with. And what I want to share with you guys, I this is totally my honest opinion. So, with that said, let's move on to the second point that you guys might be thinking about. This is not what I think are the most popular or the most likely characters to get in. It's what I personally want to see in the game. So, if you guys have something else that I don't mention in this list, by all means, leave it in the comments, alright? So, without further ado, let's get started with the top Alright, so, my number 10 spot is... Impa from the Legend of Zelda series. So, I would love to see Impa in the game. Uh, I think she's a really cool character. I love the Legend of Zelda series myself, and she's pretty popular amongst the Zelda universe, especially with her uh, being playable in the recent Hyrule Warriors. I think she could be a pretty fast character, but with her really heavy sword, and with her really big and heavy sword, I think she could also be a really heavy hitter, which is pretty unique in the vein of Smash Brothers. So, but... With that said, I don't think that she's... Actually, I shouldn't say I don't think. I know she's not my uh, number one pick for a Zelda character. So, moving on to my number nine spot, we have Spyro the Dragon. So, I love the Spyro series. And I'm talking about, like, the original Spyro on the PlayStation 1. None of this, like, Skylanders bullshit and all that stuff. I'm talking about, like, Ripto's Rage, like, all that stuff. So, it hit some of his games... The 3D, like the original games, those are some of the best 3D platformers out there, in my opinion. Even rivaling stuff like Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie, in in my opinion, at least. I've replayed, I've replayed these games like multiple, multiple times. In my opinion, his designs totally fit in with other Nintendo characters. He's got a really nice, simple design, but he's also got a very iconic design, kind of like Mario. Um, I shouldn't say, like, I'm not like comparing him to Mario. Mario is obviously way more iconic, but. Spyro's got a nice, simple, iconic design, like like Mario does. Um, he's got tons of moves to pull from. He's got his head charge. He's got his fire breath. He's got his gliding. I, I think he can make a really effective move set of both of them. I I see him as being kind of a mid weight character if he did get him. And then his final smash, I think, would be like if he got his super flight power and his super fire power, like he does in the original Spyro games when you run through those portals. Uh, kind of similar to what Yoshi's final smash is like. So. I would love to see Spyro in the game, but he's not my only third-party choice on this list. So, moving on to number 8, we have the Chorus Men from Rhythm Heaven. Now, I've already expressed my love for them in previous videos, why I think they'd be awesome additions to the game. Uh, Rhythm Heaven, while it's not so huge here in North America, it's a really big game in Japan. And I think it deserves representation beyond uh, trophies in Smash Brothers. Sakurai's even said himself that he loves the Rhythm Heaven series, and he wants to be able to expand the Smash Brothers universe as much as he can, like, to as many games as he can. And I would personally like to see them in the game. Now, I've never actually played a Rhythm Heaven game myself, but that doesn't mean that I would never play them ever. Maybe Smash Brothers would help me get into Rhythm Heaven if there was a character inclusion. You know, that's how I started getting into Fire Emblem. So... I would love to see these guys in the game. I think a three-fighter character would be super unique. It's never really been done before, where, like, there's three different characters fighting at the same time as one playable character. If I think you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, I would love to see another franchise represented in Smash, and I think the fact that I've never actually played a Rhythm Heaven game actually kind of intrigues me more about these characters, because I have no idea what these guys would do. So I, the fact that I don't know what they would do and the fact that there's like a surprise there as to what their moveset would be actually really intrigues me about these characters. So that's why I'd love to see the chorus men in the game. So moving on to number seven, we have any rep from Castlevania. Now, I do think that Simon Belmont would be the obvious choice just because he's been in the most games. He, the Belmonts are 
like the main fighters or the main uh, rather characters in the Castlevania series. And Simon, I think, has been in the most out of all the Belmonts. However, my personal pick would be Alucard from Symphony of the Night. I don't think he'll get in, and I think he has a less unique move st- or uh, playing style than the Belmonts would. So I would be happy if the Belmonts got in for sure. But Alucard is definitely my first choice for a Castlevania character. Now, Castlevania is freaking amazing. Like, if Snake isn't going to make it back into Smash, then Castlevania is definitely the next most fitting Konami franchise to uh, represent. And, like, I would love to see them. I would love to see a Castlevania character. The whip, the crosses, the axes, the daggers, the holy waters. There's so many items you could use to uh, to make a moveset out of these guys. Um, Castlevania, I think, it's a super huge series, especially on Nintendo platforms. There's been a ton on uh, the, D- the handheld systems lately, like the DS and the 3DS. There's some pretty good ones on the Game Boy Advance. Um, Castlevania, I think, is a perfect choice to be represented in Smash Brothers. It's not too mature, but it's like... Uh, I-, I-, I think it could fit in. If Snake could fit in with Smash Brothers, then Simon Belmont could definitely fit in. And think about a Castlevania level. Like... Think about like part of like a castle, like part of Dracula's castle, having like a creepy room with like all the stairs you can go up and skeletons coming at you. I think it'd be, I think Castlevania inclusion in the game would be just super awesome. I could totally see it fitting, not just the character, but a stage as well. So again, my personal pick would be Alucard from Symphony of the Night, but I'd be just as happy seeing Simon Belmont in. So moving on to my number six spot. Now I'm gonna get some flack for this one. I know I am. But I want to see Sceptile in the game. I don't think it's too much to ask for another Pokemon character. Pokemon is huge. It's the second best-selling franchise in the world, only next to the Super Mario series. And if you think about it, Super Smash Bros. Brawl had six playable Pokemon in it. And this game has six playable Pokemon in it, and its roster is bigger than Brawl. And the fact that Mario has, like, what, eight, nine representatives? I think adding another Pokemon isn't as big of a deal as people think it is. I don't say Sceptile because I think that they need to have a Grass Starter because there's Charizard and Greninja already as a Fire and Water Starter. I just like Sceptile, and I think he fits into Smash really well. He'd also represent Gen 3, which, by the way, really needs some representation in Smash Brothers. It's one of my favorite generations, and I think that Sceptile uh, represents uh, those games really well, especially with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire being such recent releases. You know, he could use... Leaf Blade, he could use Bullet Seed, Quick Attack. I think he could use Leaf Storm as a recovery, like shooting a bunch of leaves down so he can like propel himself up in the air. I think Sceptile would be awesome. Maybe even use Dragon Pulse with his new Mega Typing. Obviously, his Mega Evolution would be uh, Mega Evolving, but maybe he could use something like Frenzy Plant when he, me- when he Mega Evolves. Just like all these crazy vines like attacking people from all over the stage. I think Sceptile would be an awesome choice. I think he'd be a really fast fighter with light attacks, being a very combo-heavy character. So I really want to see Sceptile in Smash Brothers, and that is why. So moving on to my number five spot. Now this one's probably not on many other people's lists, if any other people's lists. But I want to see Fawful from the Mario and Luigi series. Now I know what you guys are thinking. We don't need another Mario character. We already have a ton. And why Fawful? He's not very iconic. He's not in many games. He's not as iconic as, like, Bowser and stuff. Well, I know that. But that doesn't stop Nintendo from making some pretty oddball choices before. You know, Duck Hunt, Rob, stuff like that. I would love to see Fawful in the game. I We definitely need more villains in the roster. And while I know it's another Mario villain, who cares, all right? I love the Mario & Luigi series so much. I think it needs more love than a few songs in the game. Like, Fawful, he, he's ridiculous. Like, I would love to fight as him. His laughs and freaky mannerisms, they just get me. Like, he's just super fun. I love him in the games. Even though he's a bad guy, I just love when you have... He, he was, what, he was one of the main an- antagonists in Superstar Saga, and he was the main villain in Bowser's Inside Story, and that's why I really want him in the game, was Bowser's Inside Story. You know, he could use... I think he'd be a really quirky, gimmicky character. He could use his star laser... He could use, like, the black holes. He could use his vacuum helmet. I, I think he would just be super fun to play as. He'd be a, I think he'd be an incredibly light character and an incredibly gimmicky character. And I, I don't really know exactly how he would play, but I don't really care. I would love to see him in the game. His laughs, uh, his taunts would have to be some of his laughs. Like, I have chortles and <laughs> I would love to see Fawful in the game. I can't, I can't express that enough. 
his taunts would just make you want to beat him so bad. And like I said before, I think he'd be a pretty light and floaty character. So Fawful is my number five choice. He just he'd be really quirky. He'd have a lot of unique moves. He'd definitely be a unique fighter. And I think the Mario and Luigi series, it's time for them to get some representation in Smash. If Paper Mario got representation in a stage, I think Mario and Luigi should get representation in Fawful. So, moving on to my number four spot is Dixie Kong from the Donkey Kong Country series. Now, I love Dixie. I love the Donkey Kong Country series. I, Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and Dixie's a huge reason why. She was able to fly, which made the game a lot more open and a lot more... You could do a lot more with the game with a character that could fly. She's already a super popular character, and I am definitely a Dixie fan myself. The, not to mention, the Donkey Kong series definitely needs another representative. It's, I think it's just wrong, plain wrong, that the Kid Icarus series has three representatives as fighters and the Donkey Kong series only has two. And Dixie feels like she's part of that like main core trio of like playable characters being Donkey, Diddy, and Dixie. She, I think she has enough to differentiate herself from Diddy as well. A lot of people say that she'd just be a clone, but I think she's got enough. She's got her gumball gun that she could shoot. Maybe that could like slow characters down. She can fly with her hair, which is totally unique. It would be a different recovery. Maybe she could do like a spin attack like she can do in Donkey Kong Country 2 when she's running like and she can just spin. Maybe that could be like her dash attack or her side B or something. While I do think she would have similarities to Diddy, I think she'd be different enough. And like I said before, it feels like she's part of the Donkey Kong trio that just like has to be like together. Like no matter where they go, it just feels like it's wrong if one of them's missing. So, and her final smash would totally have to be her, like, rocking out to her guitar. Like that uh, assist trophy in Smash Brothers Brawl, I forget, I think it was Barbara or something. I think it would have to be something like that, but a lot better and a lot more cool. So, Dixie's my number four spot. She definitely deserves a spot in Smash Brothers. So, moving on to my number three spot is Darunia from the Legend of Zelda series. Now, Darunia was on my last list, and my opinion hasn't changed much about him. He fixes the problem of needing more Zelda representatives, and he fixes the problem of the roster needing more heavyweights. And Darunia, I think, is not a popular choice, but I think he'd be a really fun choice. He has a ton of moves to use, despite not being playable until Hyrule Warriors. You know, that's the only game he's really playable in, but there's still a lot to pull from, I think. You know, he could roll around like a lot of the Gorons do. He could use the Megaton Hammer, because that's like the Gorons' like secret tre treasure weapon or whatever. I forget what they call it. I think the secret crop or whatever in Ocarina of Time. Uh, he could use bombs. Like, there's a lot of bombs growing in the Goron Village. I think he could use, like, bigger versions of bombs that Link would use. Um, he'd be completely unique. He'd be, again, a really heavy character. He'd probably be pretty slow, but I think that's okay because the character, I think the character roster needs more heavy, slow characters. And I think Darunia fits that perfectly. And again, we need more Zelda representatives. It's been since Melee that we've had a true new character. I mean, I know we got Toon Link in Brawl, but let's be real. He's just a more relevant version of Young Link, okay? And his final smash would totally have to be him grooving out the Sarius song and just like Goron's flying everywhere or something. <laughs> so, moving on to number two is Shovel Knight. Now, again, when I... Like, I love Shovel Knight. Like, when I... As soon as I started thinking of uh, DLC characters for Smash... Shovel Knight was immediately the first one that popped into my head, and probably a lot of other people's heads, too. Uh, he's one of the best platformers from this century, hands down. He's got a super great move pool to choose from. He's got, you know, he's got his fire wand, he's got his shovel bounce, he's got his flying dagger. Tons of moves to choose from. It'd be a super easy job making a move set for him. Um, he has a simple, really iconic look, kind of like Spyro does. Uh, you know, I think he fits right in with uh, Mario, Mega Man, and Sonic. Well, he's not as iconic, he doesn't have that, like, timelessness as they do, because he only came out last year. It looks like he's from the NES. Like, it looks like that long-lost NES character that we never saw until, like, last year. And I think that, like, having Shovel Knight in doesn't just speak for Shovel Knight, but speaks for the indie world itself. Like, Nintendo's a huge indie supporter, and I think if we had Shovel Knight in there, it would really speak to, like, how much Nintendo loves their indie games. Like, just having a fighter represent all those indie games and having it be Shovel Knight, I think is a super, super smart choice and super obvious choice. And I would just cry if I saw Shovel Knight in the game. Oh my, I would just break down and cry. I love Shovel Knight. I've replayed his game multiple times. I'm super excited for the Plague Knight DLC. But uh, there's just one more character that outranks him. And if you guys have been following my channel, it might be pretty obvious. So moving on to my number one spot 
is King K. Rule from the Donkey Kong Country series. Now, King K. Rule is a super, super popular character amongst pretty much the internet. Like, in general, everyone seems to want him in, and that's myself included. The Donkey Kong Country series, like I've said before, some of my favorite games growing up, and the, bo the boss fights of King K. Rule were a huge highlight of that. You know, the music was awesome, the, the strategies that you had to use to fight him, not really the first one, but in the second and third one, were just super unique. And again, Donkey Kong seriously needs another rep. I think King K. Rule really fits the bill well. You know, he takes up the problem of needing more villains in the franchise, or in the roster. We need more Donkey Kong in the roster. And we definitely need more, um, fucking what's it called? Heavyweights. Uh, so we need more villains, we need more Donkey Kong, and we need more heavyweights. And King K. Rule fits all of those perfectly. But that's not just why I want him in the game. Like I said before, he's super fun to play against, and he's got a ton of moves to choose from that would make him just super, super fun to play as. He's got his, you know, he's got his crown that he can throw. He's got his, uh, he's got his pirate musket or whatever that shoots that weird goop from, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. He's got his, like, propeller jetpack thing from Donkey Kong Country 3 that he can use as a recovery. You know, he could, like, throw his weight around, like, do, like, a body slam kind of thing from the first game. He's just got so much moves to choose from. And I think he should actually be heavier than Bowser if he makes it in. You know, like, he's got to he's gotta outweigh Donkey Kong by a significant amount because he is bigger than DK. And I think that's what would make King K. Rool even more unique, is if he was even heavier than Bowser. Like, that would be insane. But I think it's fitting because he's King K. Rool. He's a really big guy. But I don't think he's too big. I don't think he has a Ridley problem. So, uh, personally as well, like, I don't get how, like, someone like Wolf made it in the game. Like, I don't hate Wolf at all. I love Wolf. But I think King K. Rool is much more deserving than Wolf to get in as a villain. So that, those are just all the reasons why I think Donkey Kong, or why uh, King K. Rool, rather, should be in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS. Oh, and by the way, his final smash. It's got to be like a cannonball rainstorm or something from the sky. Like, it's got to be that. That's probably the most iconic part of his boss fights, was when he just bounce around and like all those cannonballs would fly down. I think that's got to be his final smash. And hey, maybe even make a Gangplank Galleon uh, stage based off him. I didn't even think of that until now, but my god, that would be awesome. Ha like having Donkey Kong Island in the background and then fighting on his ship. Oh my god, like King K. Rool has to get in the game. Like I will, I don't even know what I'd do if he got in the game. I'd probably die from a heart attack. Like King K. Rool is definitely my number one pick for so many reasons. He would just be an awesome character to play as. He fits. He fixes so many problems with the Smash Brothers roster. He fills a lot of holes. Having a stage based on King K. Rool would just be amazing. And my God, just so much more. So again, let me know what you guys want to see in Smash Brothers in the comments below. If they were on my list or if they weren't on my list, I'd love to be able to interact with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Nintendo Top 10s and other things Nintendo. All right, guys. Peace out. Bye.